Hey guys, my name is Vinay Kumar. I'm back with another video. Today we are going to discuss about data process shape. Data process shape is used to manipulate incoming data within a process in multiple ways based on the requirement. So now I'm opening the data process shape. If you click on this plus icon, you will get a multi multiple processing steps here. So we are now going to discuss about zip and unzip. Zip allows you, you to zip the incoming document in a WinZip compression format. So we are going to zip the file now. Uh, if you want to use the connector, you can use the connector. I'm using a mail connector, send, and the action is send, and the property is body. So if you want to send as a file name or a two orders or anything, you can send that. So I'm using as a body. But I'm not using any connector here. I'm just showing how it uh, actually does. So I'm executing this particular process now. So we can use a connector here, the mail connector, so that it sends the uh, zipped file to the desired uh, location or the email address. So we have we are passing a sample message. This is a random message which I just entered. In the message shape so now it is zipped it is zipped so now we need to now i will be using another data process shape to unzip this particular thing unzip So if you unzip, you'll have a connector option. If you want to go with mail, you can go with mail or based on the requirement. It is a get and from other store address or subject, whatever you want to give, you can just select the property here. So as this is a test, a test one, I'm just trying to select the a random property. And as we are not using any connector as of now, I'm just testing this particular process. So whatever message we have placed in the message shape should be at the stop shape as well as we are unzipping the file, which we already zipped this one. So we have got the same file, which we placed in the message shape. So we use the message shape and then we use the zip option to zip the file. And then we use the unzip to get back to the normal. Thank you guys.